My next door neighbor is a 90 year old gentleman who dory trawled on his grandfather's boat in the early 1900s out of Gloucester. And this was his foghorn. Now a good foghorn could be in life or death and to a dorryman gets caught in a squall. If the schooner can't hear you or find you, you're dead and you end up on the epitaph on the boulevard. So Jim Lynch says these were better than that cheap crap tin ones they used to give you, which would get banged up and bent up and be useless. This one, you could shake the fish guts out of it and, and it'll blow so loud and clear. <laughs> While the West was being won by cowboys, the North Atlantic was being won with Grand Bank stories with greater risk. What's the say in the uh, days of wooden boats and iron men? These men just did their job and they didn't make a lot of money um, and, and they lived a life uh, that was a little bit dangerous. When we think of the people who were lost at sea in the fishing industry out there pursuing the wild fish in their own habitat, most of them, from what I understand, were lost in dories. And if that doesn't have a place in the minds and hearts of the people who live in a fishing community, what does? They're a monument to the fishermen we've lost. Just like that statue over there. But these float. These you can these live every day. You can look out here and see them all through the winter, all summer long. Here they are, remembering the fishermen that use them to to make this a great fishing port.